how to activate Stripe account. This is a step-by-step -step tutorial. So after you create a Stripe account, if you haven't, I'm having a video on it in the description. Just watch it. Come here and then click on activate payment. And over here, you are going to go through these steps. Okay. So the first step is to verify your business. And then under it, we have these subtopics where we are going to go through each one. Then you go to the second step, which is add your bank. Okay. After that, we will go to secure your account. Then we go to add extra details like the tax. Then we go to the review and finish. So let's go to the first one which is verify your business, okay? So under verify your business, you are going to select the business location and then the business type, okay? Over here, it is very important. Your business has to be incorporated in the United States, okay? So if you don't have a US business address, I'm having a video in the description, a link in it, just click on it and then create a business address in the United States. After that, come here and then select the business type. Okay. It is in three ways. You can select for individual, for company, or for a nonprofit organization. If you don't have any documentation, just select for individual. Then click on continue. After that, it will take you to the personal details over here. Okay. They are going to ask you something about you. So over here, just come here and then fill it as well. So you are going to put in your legal first name and then the legal last name and make sure that the name is the exact name on your tax identification statement, okay? Over here, it's called a 10. Just make sure it, it is the same thing. Then put in your email address. Then come here and then put in your date of birth, okay? The correct date of birth. And then the home address, it has to be in the United States. So you can use your business address at the same place at the home address okay so you can just put the same address over here it is allowed and then when you created your business address you can also use that same phone number at the home phone number as well okay and then over here if you don't have a social security number just leave it but if you have it just put it over here if you don't have it just leave it okay and then come down here and then click on continue after that it will take you to the business details okay so over here too you have to fill the information so here you have to tell them something about your business okay so that they will know exactly what you are into so when you come to the industry you are then going to select the type of business that you are in okay is it a software engineer is it a food business? Is it renters? Is it clothing? Is it digital? Whatever thing your business is about, just find the category, select it, and then let them know what your business is about. The next thing is to put in a business website. It is not compulsory. If you don't have a business website, just leave it. But if you have a business website, come and put it right here. Then the product description, make sure to tell them something about your business and then click on continue okay so after doing it it will also take you to the fulfillment details okay so under the fulfillment it is how do you deliver your services okay when a customer is in need of your services how long does it take before you give them the service okay if let's say you have to ship a product how long does it take for you to ship the product from your warehouse to the customer okay so just come here and then select the one that best describe your fulfillment okay if it is a day just select a day if it is not just select the one that suits you okay then click on continue after that over here come and put in the public details over here as well so the public details also is a statement that when a customer buys from you it will appear on the receipt okay so you can put any statement description here and then your business name in a form of a shortened way and then over here a customer phone number okay it is good to use the business address number over here okay and then over here come and put in the business address over here okay then click on continue so after that what you have to do is to go to the next one which is the bank details okay it is very necessary to use a u.s bank account since you are in africa or any of the countries you have to use a u.s 
bank account okay so that you can connect your stripe account to the us bank account mostly you can use payoneer if you don't have payoneer you can also use wise account i am having a video on how to create all this in the description okay so if you want to create a payoneer if you don't have it already just look in the description there is a link to it just click it and then watch it and create your us bank account okay so after creating a US bank account or if you have it then come down here you can see we have enter the bank details then click on it okay just click on enter the bank details and then it will bring you right here over here when you open your bank you see that you'll be having a routing number I'm going to show you okay so you are going to put this routing number here then the account number two you are going to put it right here after putting the account number here the next thing is that you have to make sure that your account is a checking account i'm going to show you all that and then you have to put the account number here again and then click on save okay so if you create the pioneer account and then you open it over here you will see that we have a receiving account okay just come and then click on the receiving account after you click on the receiving account it will then open your bank details okay and then over here you are going to have your account details over here that is the name of the bank the routing number as i told you and then the account number here and then the account type as you can see it is checking okay you are going to copy all these and then use it to fill it okay so if you don't have a pioneer account just look in the description there is a link in it click it and then watch the video and then create a pioneer account okay so after filling in all this just come down here and then click on continue the next thing is a two step authentication you are going to verify it beside your password so that people cannot hack your account because it is money it is an account that you are going to be receiving money in they want you to add another extra way of securing your account okay it could be by using your phone but since you are not in the united states it is not advisable for you to be using other ways besides receiving sms okay you can use use an authenticator app you can use that one and then you can also add a security key if you want but i prefer you use the sms okay and then over here we are going to get a us phone number okay so i'm having a video on how to get a free us phone number that you can use for all your verifications okay look inside the video description and then watch it so after you have been able to get a us free phone number just come here and then come and put the number over here so where there is mobile number just come here and then come and put the number over there and then come and then click on confirm phone number they are going to send you a code which are going to type it right here okay this code will be sent to you then you type in the code and then come and click on confirm and then your account will be verified okay so over here they have sent you some short code that whenever you misplace your number you can simply put in this code you can just come and then click on the download or you can copy it somewhere okay that is why you need the us phone number a free us phone number to do this okay then when you are done just click on i have saved my backup code that is all okay and as you can see we have verified our phone number successfully and you can simply come here and then click on the done you always have to enter the code to log in okay so the next step is that after verifying it through the sms if you want another way to you can add it but just leave it then come and click on continue okay then it will take you to the task calculation that's the extra one and then look here when you look at the top it is saying optional okay so if you don't want any issue just ignore it okay because it is optional over here they are going to calculate your tax services based on the service you are providing some might cost you 0.5 percent 
or more okay if you don't want any problem just come down here you see we have the no tanks just come and click on it because it is optional okay so come down and click on no tanks after that the next one is the climate contribution over here they want you to willingly contribute to remove carbon from the system okay it is optional as well. If you want, you can also apply for it, whereby they are going to charge you, I think, from 0.5% to 1.5%. It is free world contribution that you give. If you don't want it, it is optional. You can just come down here and then click on no tanks and then you go your way, okay? But if you want to deduct it, you can just go with it. After that, over here, we are almost done. The next thing I have to do is to review all all the informations you have provided and then just save it and send it to them okay so you can take your time and then review everything so after reviewing everything and then you know that all the information is correct just come down here and then click on agree and submit and then you will get your account activated for you and you can start receiving money right away so this is how to activate your strip accounts